So let's look at some calculations of these concentrations and how we can convert between concentrations. For this particular problem, we have a concentrated aqueous hydrochloric acid solution with the density of 1.19 grams per milliliter. It has a mass percent of 38.0 HCl, and we are asked to calculate the molarity, molality, and mole fraction for the solution. So first, let's start with molarity. Molarity is defined as moles of solute per liter of solution, but all we know right now are the grams of solute per grams of solution, that being defined as the 38%. 38% though suggests that there are 38 grams of HCl per 100 grams of solution. Knowing this ratio, all I need to do then is convert my 38 grams HCl to moles HCl and my 100 gram solution to liters solution and I will have molarity. And reviewing the unit conversion from 105 I can get moles using molar mass. I can then uh, convert my grams of solution to milliliter solution using density. And then I can go from milliliters solution to liter solution, having liters in my denominator for molarity to get my molarity of 12.4. Next, let's look at molality. Molality is defined as moles of HCl per kilogram of solvent. So now I need to distinguish between the solution and the solvent. If I have 38 grams HCl, I have 100 grams solution. But 38 of those grams are HCl, so I only have 62 grams of solvent. So then I can take my 38 grams HCl and divide it by the 62 grams of water and do as I did before, convert the 38 grams HCl to moles HCl, but now I will convert the 68 grams solvent, 68 grams water, to kilograms water. That will then give me my molality. You'll notice that molarity and molality are not exactly the same because this is a very high concentrated solution. It is only for dilute aqueous solutions that these values will be similar. Now let's look at mole fraction. If I have 38 grams HCl, I can then calculate my moles. I already determined when I have 38 grams HCl, I have 62 grams water, so I can calculate the moles of water. Mole fraction HCl will then be moles HCl divided by total moles, so I add both of those together in my denominator.